All right, so we are here trail side. I'm with Matti, he's a former World Cup racer and pole team manager. And I'm really pumped for today because we have two different types of very tricky corners that we're gonna run you guys through. He's gonna give you guys some tips on how to ride it in general. See if there's any differences between you know, a regular style bike or a longer style bike, like a pole machine or a stamina or an Evo link. Uh, if there's any differences at all, if there's any benefits, we're gonna run through everything for you guys. So we're coming into the corner, a little bit rooty, but it is a supported corner. So that's the first type of corner we're gonna talk through. And it actually connects to the next one beyond that. So we're gonna go through body position and uh, different ways of getting through this as fast as possible and linking up with the next one. What's your cornering tips as far as getting through this as fast as possible? For this particular corner, I'd say, like you see, there's three different lines. Like people have been going the dead inside, the middle, and then the outside. And I personally prefer the outside just because you can open up the corner a little bit more. Okay. Uh, so you can rail it faster. Uh, but I'd say the key features coming in in this turn is like, you want to carry a good speed, and then you want to pretty much start breaking or slowing down to the corner where the roots start, stay far out and like the first quarter of the corner, as you're setting up, you want to pretty much have the speed that you're comfortable with holding around the turn. You wanna, don't want to be braking too late because otherwise you ain't going to be making the next corner. I'd say braking area at the, at the beginning. So you want to like slow down before you enter the turn. Okay. And then approximately where my front wheel is now, you want to have your speed slowed down to what you're comfortable with, like railing the turn. Um, so you don't want to do your braking in the middle of the corner? No, not no. necessarily, because otherwise, then it would make it real difficult to uh, to lean in. And what most people do, like you see here, there's like a lot of braking marks, like going into the turn and people kind of jackknife it. Like so, me. <laughs> yeah, so they'll, <laughs> so yeah, you'll have definitely a lot of hard time like linking these, uh, two corners up nicely and that way you won't be able to like carry that much speed either pretty much in the middle of the corner you want to have your weight quite central on the bike you don't want to be hanging off the back too much because otherwise you won't have much front traction it's also like harder to do your uh, weight shifting going into the next bit approximately at this point is where you want to be like opening up your brakes completely and you don't want to have your weight off the back as soon as you let off the brakes your bike will generate more speed out of the corner if you've done it right. And the bike will kind of like trying to go away from you. So what you want to do is like be very central on the bike and be ready for the moment when you kind of get a slingshot out of the tent. Um, and with a pole, it's, with a bigger reach, it really helps you out that you're not really that far over the back. And you know, you can be very central on the bike. It's just easier to have that central body weight position right yeah because if you do let the bike go from underneath you here you ain't gonna be making the next corner yeah and you won't have the traction to set up too if you needed to switch sides or whatever yeah so okay it's pretty much if this happens here it's game off for that corner as well <laughs> gotcha i think it's about here just as i can see to the next corner i open up the um well pretty much let off my brakes but simultaneously, as I do that, I start pushing the bike uh, harder into the ground. Yeah. And I like extend my legs in order to, so I kind of like, almost like a jump into the next turn and there's not much support right at the end of it. And in order for me to do it, I really need to like push really hard against the floor and, and uh, just extend my knees. So those are some great tips for riding supported corners. Let's do a run through of what we've covered. Number one, if you really want to hit a corner fast, you need to know what you're getting into. It's no coincidence that the fastest riders in the world always check out a course a number of times before they hit it at top speed. So if at all possible, look at the whole corner beforehand so you can have a clear picture of what you need to do. The next step is to set your entry speed. In other words, get most of your braking done early. This will allow you to flow through the corner smoothly and in control. And in my opinion, this tip is a game changer for a lot of people, including myself. Next is getting your weight distributed correctly over the bike. As you come through the middle of the corner, keep your weight centralized and even between the wheels. Doing this will keep the bike underneath you as you press into the last part of the corner, which will rocket you towards the next one. 
That's it for part one of How to Corner a Pole. Stay tuned for part two, where Joe Nation shows us how to navigate the treacherous, flat, unsupported corner. I'll see you then. Cheers. Cheers.